The group members page is where you'll find information about the primary sponsor, as well as each of the invited group members, the immigration representative for the PA, if applicable, as well as the principal applicant, if they were invited to electronically sign their declaration online. If you're an invited constituent group rep or co-sponsor of a sponsorship agreement holder, you will typically see the name of the SAW organization as well as the primary sponsor displayed here. For persons who have been invited to a community sponsorship application, you may see the name of the organization or perhaps the name of the person who is designated as the primary sponsor for that organization. For groups of five members, you will see the name of one of the group members whom you have all agreed will be the primary sponsor for your group. Any person or organization who is listed here as the primary sponsor has the sole responsibility and permission within the PR portal to add or remove group members, to review all information and uploaded documentation, and to submit the application once it's completed on behalf of your group. You will see the primary sponsor's email address displayed here. As an invited group member, you will not see a button to reveal more details for the primary sponsor. However, the group's primary sponsor will have access to that button so they can upload their own personal protected documents. And if applicable, they will also upload any proof of funds held in trust documentation for the entire group, such as the signed and stamped letter from the financial institution, along with the account balance statements. Below this box, if there are any other group members who have been added to the application, you will see a box for each person, which contains their name and email address. Invited group members must read the applicable instruction guide to verify that you are eligible to sign the undertaking form for this sponsorship. If you are not, the primary sponsor will need to remove you from this application. Next, you should see your own information block with your name and email displayed, as well as a More Details button. You may also see a green bar which reads Ready to Submit. However, you will need to disregard this as it does not accurately indicate if the required documentation has been provided yet. Click on the More Details button to open this section where you will upload your own personal protected information. The documents uploaded here can only be viewed by yourself and the primary sponsor who needs to review the uploaded documents prior to submitting the application. No other group members will have access to see your protected documents and you will not be able to see the protected documents uploaded by other group members either. As a minimum, each group member will need to upload their completed sponsor assessment form. Proof of Canadian status, such as their passport or permanent resident card. And if you are a group member who is contributing funds to the sponsorship from your personal income, you are also required to provide proof of fund documents such as your financial profile form and the Canada Revenue Agency Notice of Assessment. These proof of fund documents should be merged together into one document that is less than four megabytes in size. However, if you are unable to merge them together, you can upload the Notice of Assessment or other proof documents separately under the other section to a maximum of 10 separate files. If you're a part of a group of five or community sponsor application, you will see the requirement to also upload a copy of your police criminal record check, which is dated no more than six months prior to the date the application was submitted. When you are finished uploading all required documents, simply click on the Hide Details button to close this section. 
if the principal applicant was invited to the application. You will see their information listed next. And if an immigration representative has been invited, who will represent the principal applicant, they will be listed next. Once you have finished uploading your personal documents, you can click on the button to continue. Now let's take a look at how to access the application forms and where to upload the sponsorship documents. 